Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks. I see I've gotten over 5,000 subbies here on my YouTube channel. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for being so supportive and following me. It means so much to me. I will be having a giveaway to celebrate. Not sure when because the holidays are coming and you know how busy we all will be. I've got four album obligations to make before Christmas, um, two in each month. So, and I'd like to do an album giveaway because uh, that's what I do and that's what you all come here to see. So probably won't be until January and at the same time in January I'm going to do a tutorial for you all. Another one, I don't know what papers or anything. Um, so if uh, you guys have any suggestions, I'll take them into consideration. Just leave them in your comments below. Um, and I think that's all I had to say, except we'll go on to the walkthrough of this album. It's a custom order using Lemma Crafts Tiny Miracles paper for a baby girl Baby girl, Himina, that's her name. Um, this is a Spellbinders die. I think it's Radiant Rectangles. Yes, I did leave it out. Timeless Rectangles, this smallest die to make this little frame. and I printed off the name on the computer and worked it up in Photoshop with the Embroidery X there and worked the name in, in Photoshop and then printed it onto the paper and then die cut around it. This piece here comes in the paper collection. It's a cutout, 4x6. This is a Creative Embellishments Flourish. They do chipboard flourishes and die cuts. Then I, I had cut this piece off of this one. I used um, some ink to change the color and some glitter to sparkle it up. Mulberry flowers, some lace applique, a plastic angel that I painted and sprayed and dyed both pink and blue, some little bee baby shoe stickers, beads and pearls in pink and blue and clear, all put on with Prima, Prima Clear 3D Glaze, and a spoon from Renee Bouquet's. I think I got everything, didn't I? I used eyelet lace on the spine with some of this box pleated trim and some soft pink baby yarn with some sparkly trim. Really sparkly trim in the center. And the back looks like this. Open it up and move our first page. This frame I die cut with X cut Ornate Frames Square from Do Crafts. It's a really big die, but I used this one in the middle and mounted it on two colored lavender colored. Uh, cardstock because the pink is on the blue side rather than the yellow so I use lavender and you can take this out use it as a template and cut the picture to fit glue down the corner this comes out says you are always in my heart and this little charm journaling on the back 
This little baby in a bathtub comes from Martha Stewart. This is one of Rene Bouquet's princess buttons. More beads, mulberry flowers. This comes from Creative Embellishment. It says babe. This opens like this. And the customer asked for another rose, like I did in my Rosie Bell album. And you can buy this uh, rose template from Creative Pop-Up Cards. I'll put the link. There's a link to a video on how to assemble it here on YouTube. And I'll put that on the screen. These are mulberry flowers and leaves. And it says, sweetie, here is a journaling tag cut out from the collection. Here is a photo mat. 4x6, photo mat, 4x6, with ribbon on it, so this opens here, there's a little horse, rocking horse on a moon right here. Put pictures there, slide it under here, put pictures here, slide it under here, and two 4x4 four four smaller photos, and here's another cutout journaling spot. And we have a horizontal waterfall. 4x6 four photos can go here. And a photo can go here. It says baby girl. This comes from a button set I had in my stash. Next page. This opens. Two photos here. I'll close with a magnet. You can put a photo on here if you want. Um, this is a charm. Pop charm. And then we have two photo mats up here. This is a 5x7 and this is a little larger. So you could put one big picture or several small pictures. Next page, um, you can slide a picture up into here. This rocking chair comes from from Creative Embellishments that I painted and it says Angel and we have more beads and some bead trim and a Rene Bouquet's butterfly and so you can slide a picture under there. Did I say that already? You can put a picture here and here's a resin frame with some beads and another journaling spot. Small pictures here, it opens like this, there's a pocket, two 4x6 four photo mats, and a place to put a picture here. Next page, I have a resin bird and a doily, I forgot to mention these cottage cuts, tea time doily die for making these little doilies I have throughout the book. So this is another Creative Embellishments chipboard piece and mulberry flowers. It says girl. Open like this. And we have 4x6 photo mat. 4x6 photo mat. And a pocket with some lace. And we have this, which opens like this, 4x6, 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 you can stick a picture down in behind here, and two 4x4, four four, and two by threes, with a journaling spot.
big four by six photo here, and we have a little teddy bear charm on a four by six photo mat here. And a little teddy there. It says doll or doily. And here we have a smaller photo mat with another photo mat behind. Or you could journal on that. It has a little moon and stars charm. It says cute. Oops, take this out. And a wallet. And here we have a little photo booklet that goes in this pocket. And a chipboard horse. That's not in a creative embellishments. I had that in my stash. This is a cutout. pictures. And the last page is another horizontal waterfall. This is another Martha Stewart, not Martha Stewart, Melissa Francis, baby resin piece and a little resin angel and I have a baby stroller here, charm. Opens like this. This album will hold 64 photos conservatively and like I said earlier it's a custom order. Let's hope that the buyer likes it. And I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and being here to watch my videos. And I hope you have a really nice Halloween is coming up for us. And thanks so much for watching.